Broadcasting live worldwide. Dear God, why does it feel that times come when I just feel as if I'm under attack? Why does it feel like no matter how hard I pray, how hard I try to do things that is right, I still feel like the arrows are pointing directly at me. What do I do with that? How do I overcome this? Fear is starting to set in, and I really don't know what to do. Good morning, everyone. My name is Angel from Have Faith, Let It Begin. Some of us feel like this. Some of us get like this. And some of us feel as if we are in this really great, perfect storm. But the storm that we're in just doesn't stop. And just when you think the sun is about to peak, another cloud appears and the storm begins again. Let's talk about that. Have Faith, Let It Begin, Tuesday edition, starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say have faith? Again. Let it begin? Again. Say have faith. Again. Let it begin. No, no. No? no? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah! Oh, Noah. Oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Have faith, live again. When it starts right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. My name is Angel, and uh, we'd like to welcome each and every one of you onto this platform if you're joining us for the first time. The opening monologue is entitled Dear God. So I want you to all understand that this is part of a series, and it's called Dear God. Now, part of this is from people that I've spoken to, and some of it is from the way I went through during this last week. So I want to continue on with this series, as we call it, Dear God. I hope you enjoy it. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Dear God, Today, I woke up with some back pain. I need your help. I'm having trouble. God, why does it feel as if I'm under attack? Why does it feel as if no matter what I do, what I say, I can't stop the the bleeding? Lord, I know that when I pray, you listen. And I know that prayers can't be answered right away. But maybe if you just give me a little bit of a breathing room, maybe if you could just help me, it would really make me feel so much easier. Dear God, why is it that I have so much stress, yet I can't figure out how to overcome my fears? I feel as if I'm alone. I'm calling out to you, God. Help me. Dear God, I can't believe it's been this long since I haven't cried. The other day I turned on the TV and there was a commercial. And that commercial made me cry. Thank you, Lord. Dear God, no matter how bad things get, I'm going to praise you on the good days and on the bad days. I'm going to learn from all the things that have happened to me, that continue to happen to me. And I know that things will turn for the better. Dear God, this morning I woke up with a smile on my face. And I said to myself, today is going to be a good day. Because today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This morning... Have Faith, Let It Begin is talking about prayer. It's talking about all the things that we have gone through in life or maybe are going through. Many of us wake up or go to sleep with all these types of thoughts. No one here is perfect. 
we all have our vulnerabilities. We all know that at times we feel very weak. Myself, last week was just brutal. And no matter what happens, no matter how many times I got hit, whether it was from the side, the front, the rear, top of the head, to the bottom of the toes, I still found a way to find the positive in the negative. Hard to do, easy to say. So one of the things I wanted to share with you today was no matter how hard things get, no matter how bad you feel, no matter how many times you sit, you see yourself backed up into a corner, know that you're not alone. That's the number one key. You're never alone because God is with you. I know what you're thinking. If he's with me, then why isn't he helping me? He is. Trust and believe that he is because he's got your best interest at heart. So, if you've been having a bad week, a bad morning, you turned on this episode and you say, okay, let's turn it for the better. Then let's do that with a power of prayer. I hope you have a blessed morning and I hope that things turn around for the best. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we say to ourselves, dear God, what we should be saying is, thank God. Because we're thinking of you, Lord. And every time we think of you, we want to smile. We know that you are with us 24-7, seven days a week, 365 days a year. You're in our hearts. You're in our minds. You're rubbing our shoulders. You're hugging us and telling us each and every day that I love you, that I trust you, that I believe in you, and that I'm never going to leave your side. Today on this day, I'm encouraging each and every one of you to try to find the good, the positive, in the negative. And I trust and believe things will get better. Believe me, I know. So may God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith, let it begin. God loves you, and so do I. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730 Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>